Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm EG Mix. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, I just got want to say, you know, thank you guys for uh, an amazing first week. I've had an amazing time uh, creating content and uploading content all week. And, you know, yeah, I had a goal, you know. My goal for the now and the future is to, you know, try to gain 10 subscribers a week. And on week one, we made it to 12 uh, currently as I'm recording this video. So, yeah, thank you guys a lot. And um, I got some other things to tell you guys about this amazing week that I've had, literally starting on Sadie Super Saturday. Um, so, yeah. Uh, other than that, this is a pretty much a news video. So, we're, we're going to jump right in and I'll tell you guys about the other information as well. But first and foremost, before we, uh, well, not first and foremost anymore because I've kind of already said first and foremost. But first and foremost, on the news side of things, I kind of want to touch on some old things after a period of radio silence we got. Uh, some old things. Uh, that I wanted to make a video on that I wasn't able to. I kind of came late to the party, but I just wanted to touch on it anyway. Uh, Doom Eternal, we will be getting day and date. Um, I'm sure you guys know this. We'll be getting it March 3rd, uh, 2020. So, yeah, that game is coming, and I'm pretty excited for it. I'm probably going to uh, actually pick it up and uh, play it on the channel. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that game. Um, also, Stadia Super Saturday was last Saturday, an amazing event. Uh, organized by uh, Stadia Source, and basically for 24 hours, I think I told you guys about this in a guilt video if you guys haven't checked it out, but um, yeah, for a, a straight, you know, 24 hours, tons of Stadia content creators got together and uh, live streamed for 24 hours, so yeah, it was pretty amazing, and yeah, I, we were pretty much stream hopping all day, it was pretty great, I participated in a Mortal Kombat 11 tournament uh, hosted by Club Stadia, so yeah, I had tons of fun, it was amazing. Uh, and I hope to be a content creator for the next time uh, Stadia uh, Super Saturday is done or anything like it. So, yeah. Shout out to Stadia Source for organizing it. Um, and also, shout out to you guys for following me on Twitter. Again, that's one of the things I want to touch on. I was pretty pretty happy about that. <laughs> Other than that, um, we also got five new games. Uh, first, the first five new games that we know about, um, we were actually told... Um, uh, about I believe I found out actually on Twitter, but uh, we, we will be getting um, of course coming soon We don't have a release date. That's kind of the tagline of Stadia now <laughs> But we're getting Lost Worlds um, Panzer Dragoon Serious Sam Spitlings and stacks on stacks on stacks coming soon to Stadia So those are the first five games that we found about out about and um also uh, If you guys didn't know last uh, week, I think yeah last week uh, there was two Valentine's Day events um, one was on Destiny 2 um, and it was the Crimson Days event, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, I ended up getting the Vow. It was a bow and arrow that you could get in the game So uh, for the Crimson Days event. So that was a pretty cool uh, event. I enjoyed it. Um, I think I, I got that on the Sunday after Stadia, uh, Super, Stadia Super Saturday. <laughs> I keep mixing that up. And then also, Borderlands 3 had a Valentine's Day event. Uh, I think it was the Monty's Heist, I believe. I don't have Borderlands 3, so I wasn't even uh, able to play it. But uh, I heard about it, and uh, a lot of people said they enjoyed it. So those were two things. If you missed out, there's always next year, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, those were two things that happened. But yeah, that's the old stuff. Oh, wait, and Sam's story. We got Metro Exodus for um, uh, one of the pro games we got this month for February. So Sam's story is a DLC that was uh, released for Metro, and uh, that was also released. Um, so yeah, pick that up if you're interested in Metro. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm not. It, it's a good game. I haven't finished it yet, so... I can't really give a review yet, so but once I finish it, I'll definitely let you guys know. Um, other than that, we're gonna pause before we transition to the new news. Uh, I just want to tell you guys a little about. As you see, I'm getting better at my transitions and stuff. You know, OBS is helping me out a lot. <laughs> but uh, I want to tell you guys actually about some of the things that have gone on. So after the MK11 tournament, I get I ended up I ended up getting third place in that. Uh, I have a video coming up uh, that might be out already, depending on when I release this video. But um. Uh, about the Mortal Kombat 11 tournament, but um, yeah, after that tournament, I ended up getting third place and winning ten dollars in it. Um, after that Sunday, um, I kind of I I had the Sunday before last weekend, I was creating I created my first five guilt videos, and I sat down and I was like, okay, I really want to do this, so I I recorded another five videos, and um, pretty much I have ten episodes of guilt ready. So, um, as I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, I think I'm ready to start my YouTube channel, and I pretty much just get it together in a good four hours. I'm like, we're going to do this. We're going in. We're not going to worry about equipment. We're not going to worry about tech. We're just going to get there uh, with the basics, and we're going to grind it out. So, um, I post um, on Twitter um, my first part one of my guilt playthrough, and I tag Tequila Works and Guilt the Game 
the the Twitter pages, and they both liked it, and that was my first real highlight. I was so hyped, and then uh, on Tuesday, part two, I tweeted that on Twitter, and uh, Tequila Works, big shout outs to them, they actually retweeted that post, so <laughs> that's actually what prompted the Stadium Source to follow me on Twitter, and I guess that's kind of them acknowledging that, yeah, I'm a content creator. I'm small right now, but I'm growing, <laughs> so big shout out to you guys i really appreciated that and uh thank you for just making a great game you know without you guys uh making this game um i i don't think that you know i really would be in the position i am right now i really enjoy that game i really wanted to play it and uh just bring it to the world as you know stadia is technically first well not even technically it's their first exclusive so uh for that to be my first um playthrough on something new you know that was pretty pretty amazing and pretty great so uh kind of poetic I guess, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, with that, I think that's pretty much all that, oh, also, yeah, I had a goal, you know, we made it to, uh, 12 subscribers, my goal is 10 to, is to gain 10 subscribers a week, and we made it to 12 on week one, so I really appreciate that, guys, uh, but other than that, we're gonna get to the new stuff, so the new stuff, okay, you see Spitlings back on the screen, uh, we actually have a release date for Spitlings now, this is all the new news, uh, so on February 25th, Spitlings will be releasing, and of course, all the Stadia uh, Pro subscriptions will be running out, or have been running out uh, this month. I think it started on the 19th uh, of this month, so yeah, mine actually ends on the 28th, so I got some more time. Uh, but yeah, all that stuff is running out, so I guess now the, the question is, is uh, are we going to resub? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely res resubbing. I don't really have to pay for my resub because, you know, uh, that MK11 tournament. Thanks, shout out to Brian at Club Stadium because I got that $10. <laughs> I'm paying for my next month, but yeah, uh, I don't have to worry about it, but that's kind of the question now. But uh, yeah, Spitlings will be releasing on the 25th, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that game. Um, I'm actually thinking about picking it up. I just don't know how uh, how much it's going to cost yet, but uh, I might pick it up and play it on the channel. Um, but I know Guilt, uh, the continuation of my Guilt playthrough will also be airing or premiering next week as well. So uh, we'll see. Also, we got five more games uh, this week that we know will be releasing on Stadia. We have uh, four Steam World games. So uh, uh, I don't know much about the Steam World series, but we, we're getting four from the Steam World series on Stadia uh, coming soon. Again, that's kind of the tagline. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we have let me see Steam World Dig and Steam World Quest to something, and also Steam World Heist and Steam World something else. <laughs> I'm looking, but, you know, I got it on OBS, so everything's kind of small, but, um, I, I gotta find a setting for that to change that, but, um, yeah, and two of those games, I believe, is Steam World Dig 2 and uh, Steam World Quest of something, <laughs> we will be getting, uh, free, uh, for pro subscribers, so if you're, uh, subscribing to Pro when these games release, they will be, uh, free on Pro to claim, uh, at launch, two of the Steam World games from the series, uh, so yeah, we can claim those, and I guess we kind of know, uh, what our Pro games will be, <laughs> Oh, maybe, I guess we don't know. They could be released in the middle of the month after the pro games are released, and I guess we just get two more uh, <laughs> bonuses to our pro titles for the month. Um, so with those games, you also have uh, MotoGP20. Uh, that is another motorcycle game. Of course, we've got um, Super Motocross or Monster, en Monster Energy Super Motocross 3 um, that released this month. So we're getting another motorcycle game in MotoGP20. Um, and it will be on basically tw uh, PS4, Xbox, Steam, and Stadia, and they announced that, so, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> so we'll be getting Monster, uh, or, uh, MotoGP20 as well, another motorcycle game, and, uh, yeah, of course, you guys see the phones here. I made a video on this already, but, of course, um, we got, uh, Stadia enabled on, uh, uh, all the Samsung line, or phones from the S8 to the S20, and I believe the, um, the Razer phone uh, and the Asus ROG phone 1 and 2, I believe. So, yeah, we got uh, those games or those phones uh, supported by uh, or with Stadia enabled to play mobily and along with the Pixel line. Uh, so, yeah, we also have some other news. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's check it out, let's check it out. Uh, I mentioned Doom. Oh, Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, um, I believe at PAX East, Baldur, uh, Baldur, we'll be getting a world gameplay reveal of Baldur, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 at PAX East, and I believe that is next 
Friday. It will be live stream on YouTube. So uh, definitely go check that out. Um, and I guess now I'll kind of switch to my uh, <laughs> other screen where it says you guys just see me and my face. Um, uh, we also have some more news, I believe. Oh, yeah. You play plus. So there's been some uh, speculation about you play plus and a beta test. So um, if you guys didn't know, there is a you know service. Um, I forgot what it's called. Um, I should have had this information on hand. There's a service uh, that allows you to beta test uh, uh, games and uh, uh, stuff like that. So I assume uh, Stadia was included uh, and added to their to that organization service. And you have to sign NDAs agreements to non disclosure agreements about anything. So we really won't know unless someone's trying to you know take one for the team. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Stadia was added to that service and um, apparently. If not that, um, if not through that service uh, from Ubisoft themselves, there is a Uplay Plus beta test uh, circulating. So, yeah, that's happening. <laughs> um, again, speculation not confirmed, but uh, that is also some news if you did not know. Uh, of course, Stadia, they did post a uh, community blog explaining what would happen if uh, when your uh, three-month uh, subscription expires. And I might even uh, go ahead and pull up... Uh, a quick little thing let me um now we're slowing down i didn't want to slow down <laughs> let me actually pull up chrome yeah chrome is right here cool so um yeah uh here's their little post right here um of course you see uh what happens when your uh sadie post subscription uh uh lapses out um so yeah, here, here's just some of the things, you know, explains what will happen to your pro games. You kind of know you'll lose access to them. Um, uh, you won't lose access to the Stadia store. Um, your progress will be saved if you cancel. Um, of course, you won't have access to 4 uh, or you won't be able to play games of 4K HDR with 5.1 surround sound. And you will also lose the ability to uh, claim upcoming pro games and discounts on game purchases. Uh, and of course, they of course they just said in the coming months, uh, in any of our fourteen launch countries, uh, Stadia will be uh, accessible for free. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much. And uh, of course, when it lapses or uh, you cancel, it will be reverted to the free version of Stadia. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much that stuff. Uh, and we'll actually you know switch back over to my main screen. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the big news. Um, I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, make sure I'm not forgetting any anything. Um, yeah, I think I've touched on everything. So yeah, this video went a lot smoother than I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the important news. We're uh, at 13 minutes. Uh, so yeah, that's that's a pretty good pretty good news recap. I like it. <laughs> so yeah, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, again, thank you guys for the first amazing week um, of my journey, my Stadia content creating and everything journey <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, thank you guys. I really have enjoyed my time, you know, creating videos, and I really hope that uh, I you guys support me in the future, and we can keep that goal of getting at least ten uh, sus uh, subscriptions a month, so or a week. So, yeah. Thank you guys for everything so far. Shout out to Tequila Works, Stadia Source. Uh, yeah, watch my videos. They're pretty cool. They're pretty great. And that MK11 video, I'm really proud of. I really like that one. Um, yeah, slight plug. Shameless plug. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, yeah, uh, got some videos out. Go check them out. Guilt Playthrough if you haven't checked it out. Uh, the MK11 video should be out. Uh, the uh, other news video about the mobile devices or that update is out. Uh, and yeah, I got you guys up to date. So other than that, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Share with your friends. Comments are important. I really, really appreciate those. So uh, please comment. Those are important. I really, really appreciate it. So I know what I'm doing good and bad, what I need to improve on, all that stuff. And I'll do everything in my power to actually uh, improve on that stuff. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you join me for the next one. And uh, yeah, peace.